Today we have Sebastian Hines, the CEO of High Performance Batteries. Sebastian, welcome back to the New York Stock Exchange, especially just days after you hosted the Future Battery Summit uh, right here in New York. So you brought together some global voices, um, just some bold ideas, compelling vision uh, for the energy future. So talk about that. Congratulations on getting that organized. And uh, what do you think was impactful about the summit? Oh, thank you very much for having me here. It is so exciting to be here again. Um, with the Future of Batteries Summit, we had the idea to bridge technology from Europe, technology development, and bring that to the United States. And uh, to bring people together to discuss that in meaningful discussions, as you just said, and uh, to, to really gather the right people, the right crowd to do this. And we are looking for licensees in the United States taking up uh, the production of high performance battery technology. And so we are ready to do this. We are happy to do this. And it was uh, so impactful because it was a, a summit where we had the right people in the right places and the, also enough time for intense discussions. So it was a perfect setting. I'm really pleased to have that done as a co-host together with New to the Street. That was very, very good. Yeah, and it's interesting that you're bringing like Europe and the U.S. kind of together to work on this. I mean, what did you and, and the participants say about the momentum? right now in, in battery technology. The momentum is excellent also for the time being because everyone is uh, really looking with some, let's say, fear to the global development, especially in the battery industry. So everyone is trying to get a counterpart to the Chinese development as well. So it's really exciting to have people here um, being curious and uh, courageous enough to, to set this up. And uh, I think that that is um, that the thing which is really making the difference that people are excited to do this here. Mm -hmm. Can you give us some highlights? I mean, what were some of the big themes, things that made a lasting impression? There was one thing which was really uh, fascinating. There was a panel discussion. We had a very good speaker lineup um, and the panel discussion, and we were intensively discussing that. And suddenly it swapped over to the audience, to the s and and we had a very engaged discussion. And that was one of the characteristics of that session as well, of the, of the entire summit, that we had this kind of very close distances, uh, very intimate discussions. And that was really fascinating. And also the, the uh, intention of the people, like the, the will to join hands, the will to um, participate in something new. That is really nice to see. And uh, so that, that was exciting. Mm -hmm. And from a U.S. perspective, I mean, how is the U.S. treating this industry differently? How developed is it versus Europe? Explain. So, so I, I think that in the United States, there's a kind of movement to become a producer for battery technologies again, which has been uh, lately not been followed that much. And um, so you, you really feel that there's a, a will to succeed, to bring that idea of local production for local markets into the United States. I, I'm very happy that we can contribute to this. So that's a, a good one. Yeah. Now, do you think this will be, this is the first one, right? Do you think this might be a reoccurring event? I, I, let me put a very short answer to this. Yes, of course, because it was such a success. We definitely redo this again. Yeah, well, and it's such a, an, an industry that's so early that I can imagine there'll be lots of developments in the years to come. Uh, you also launched your new book. Yes, I did. Of it. So I did. Can I uh, point it out here? And if you so me? wish. Yes. yes. That, um, so tell me about this book. So I called it Public Enemy Number One, Innovation. And it's a storytelling book about the, all the difficulties back in Germany and Europe to bring innovation up. And uh, it is uh, illustrating 30 perspectives on innovation, not only the public view or the internal view or the VC view. It's a, it's a vast uh, storytelling thing. And it uh, covers so many perspectives and it gives answers how we address the different challenges we are faced with. And I hope that it's of value for other innovators to uh, gain the insights and to make most of it. So was that the inspiration for the book? And then how did the book fit into the summit? The, the book fit in quite well because uh, in, in uh, America, you have a different approach to innovation. And that's what I like the most. And if we're building the bridge from technology, uh, from European technology to the United States, we are also benefiting from the bridge backwards 
with a complete different intention on uh, innovation and how to approach innovation and how to finance innovation. It's a lot quicker in the United States, a lot easier to get engaged with people. And that's what it's all about. And we are combining the largest markets on earth for future technology. And that's why it was a full success. Yeah. And then, I mean, you talk about in the, in the book, the importance of, of creating the right conditions to innovate and then to scale uh, that innovation. I mean, how is that you said the U.S. was a little bit easier to do business in the EU. Um, how can those two work together to do the best things for the planet? Yeah, I think it's uh, basically all about people and um, linking the right people. Um, and if you come from the perspective of European tech development, then you need an environment which is really looking for scaling up, which is happy if you scale up, if uh, which which is uh, proud if someone scales up. And this mentality makes it entirely different to come to the United States. And it's a welcoming culture, is at, at least what we feel. It perfectly fits to the current strategy of bringing production into the United States for the United States. And that's why I think it's a perfect fit. So if there was one core takeaway, from the book and the summit, what would it be? It's all about people and it's all about cooperation. That's it. That's basically it. So bring the right people together and really pave the ground for honest and real cooperation. And then you can combine strengths, you can join hands, and you can achieve whatever you want. Yeah. Now, for people that are interested in HPB or perhaps the next uh, Future Battery Summit, how can they find out more information? They could link up with us on LinkedIn. Uh, this is one way. The other way is to get in direct contact with us on hpb.ch. Um, and uh, of course, if, if they like to have more deti detailed insights on uh, what we are doing and what we've done in the past, how we structure our business and how we cope with the future, then uh, it's, all, of course, an interesting read to have uh, read in the book, mm -hmm. which is uh, to be bought at Amazon even. OK, so, it's I'm, available now? Yes, it's, okay. it's on now. Awesome. Sebastian, thank you so much. Thank you yep. so much. Thank you. Uh -huh.